whose doctors, hospitals and health centres come under state control in the £152 million a year National Health Service Bill, soon to come on the statute book. Critics of the new charter for professional people and patients centre on Harley Street, home of British medicine. Views of more than 50,000 doctor members of the British Medical Association are voiced by Dr Guy Dane and Dr Charles Hill. On my right is Dr Guy Dane, chairman of the British Medical Association. But you, the public, uh, are interested in health no less than doctors and in health services too. We all want better health services and better health. But in organising them, let's make sure that your doctor doesn't become the state's doctor. Your servant, the government servant. The new service must be certain to provide that both you and your doctor are free to take full advantage of the service without government or civil service interference. Your doctor must be your friend and servant. Your freedom means our freedom. The government's plan is described by Labour MP Dr Hayden Guest. To the day when Parliament says the National Health Service is to come into operation, every man, woman and child, every person young and old, Every person insured or not insured will be able to get free medical attention in the home, in the doctor's surgery, or in the hospital. And if you need it, you will get free specialist consultation and free specialist treatment in the hospital. The first thing to know is that the whole service, the doctor in his surgery, the uh, doctor in your home, or the bed in the hospital, if you need to go there, will be free. There will be no more doctor's bills. Mothers and families need no longer be afraid to go to the doctor for treatment. Those who suffer from the chronic women's ailments so many people suffer from will have them prevented at an early stage. This alone will lift a heavy burden of anxiety from many lives. There must be many of you listening to me now as I speak to you through Pathé News who know by bitter experience the facts of which I speak. The immediate benefit to children will also be very great. Early treatment will save many thousands of children's lives. It's the simple things, the simple illnesses which affect children. Measles, whooping cough, the cold on the chest that uh, develops into pneumonia. Those are the causes of death in children. Let me remind you again what I said earlier to you. There will be no more doctor's bills. 